Now, we're heading to a real cool place. We love going to factories. We love seeing love conveyor mm -hmm. belts with things yeah. flipping around. Yep. See this? Mm -hmm. Ice water. It's by the Le Nature Company. They mm -hmm. just opened this Space Age plant yeah. out on the 202. If you've seen it, it has the crazy uh, corner offices there with all the glass. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really cool. Like a, like a flying saucer on each end. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so yeah, they're not they, making Space Age polymers? No, there? I wish they were, but they're making something just as uh, good. I'm just it's this delicious water. And look at this. Any uh -huh. idea? This Ever is seen cool. one of these? This is very See, cool. It's got the screw top there, but it's got this crazy thing. It's, it's actually like this. Uh huh. They spin it in a centrifuge and heat it up, and it blows out into a bottle. How about I don't wow. know how they do it. Are you going to really? go show us? Yeah, we're going to show the whole process. And this company process. is headquartered in cool. La Trobe, Pennsylvania. Home of Rolling Rock Beer. Yeah. And Arnold Palmer. And, Arnold Palmer. <laughs> and the Condrich family, which they watch us from. The Condriches North. live there? Yes, the Condriches live there. Well, yeah, they watch us from there. there. I hope they, they got a piece of La Nature's. Oh, no I, I hope they're big shareholders. That they were oh. catching us on the satellite skip or something <laughs> in La Trobe. See well, you from La Nature. Okay. <laughs> All right, Corey. Hey everybody, it's Hairnet Wednesday. Look at that beautiful blue bottle. It's from the La Nature's company. They're just uh, into the valley now. How does that get to be what it is? It comes from one of these beauties. We'll find out how this gets to be a beautiful blue bottle. All coming up in minutes. A lot of water out here in the desert. Have you ever wondered how water is bottled? <laughs> Corey, Corey, is this looks really interesting, Corey. You know, I've been driving up and down that 202, and I've seen this plant develop, and now it's you know it's cool to know what's inside. It's a it's a futuristic looking building, isn't it? I know it's a beautiful building, and indoors, this is what you're going to find. This is the Husky High Pet 500. Don't work with anything less than the Husky. It's the tops, and we're going to find out what this does and what it means for delicious water in the valley and all over the country. What we're watching there is an injection mold process that's going to be described by our good friend Jerry Pelfrey. And Jerry, you've been in the bottling business a long time, right? About 30 years. About 30 years I've been in the beverage industry. Well, now, and you swear by the Husky yeah. High Pet, right? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> well, what do you have in your hand there? Well, how do we start the whole process? Start from, uh, start from rest and if the resin is dried then it comes into this machine and melted it melted into a liquid form and then you have a, a compression screw that actually forces it into the mold into the mold uh, that we're doing here now which is this this preform okay so this machine these what 500 tons of 500 ton machine Wow yep. and we're making 128 of these every 10.3 seconds so that sounds we, like a lot every day. So we can make over a million in a 24-hour day. Holy cow! Now that uh, and you're selling that much water. Yes, I mean, sir. you could you need to get a million bottles going a day. Yes, sir. Wow. Now you're brand new to the valley. I know you're based in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, right. famous for Arnold Palmer, of course. Right. Yes. And uh, Rolling Rock, I think, as well. Right. Um, now, what made you decide to come on out to Phoenix? Uh, I, I just like the opportunity to build a brand new facility from the ground up and be part of a, you know, a state-of-the-art facility. Well, state-of-the-art, I would say, is just about right. This looks like something that landed from uh, outer space. It's beautiful on the outside. What made you decide to do such a cool-looking building? Uh, that was strictly architect decision. I, I had nothing to do with that one, so <laughs> I don't know. Where You're not it, taking uh, any credit or blame, I guess. No, no, it's but a beautiful facility. It really is. Now, we're going to see the whole process from making the bottle right to uh, filling it up and getting it ready for shipping. I think most people wouldn't think that you would actually make the bottles here right. as well. You'd think they would come in on a truck from somewhere. Most companies do. They'll make it the bottles and then truck them in and then fill them. In the nature's, we do everything. We make, start with the resin, we make the brief form, then we make the bottle, then we fill it, package it, and then we warehouse it and sell it. Quality control. It's yeah. job one, I'm sure. Well, we're just getting started here this morning. Wait till you see this conveyor belt. It is a high-speed beauty, and uh, we love seeing these kinds of uh, factory shots where we get to see the whole process, and we'll definitely see it all this morning. So we're at La Nature's Bottling Plant right off the 202, and, uh, yeah, it's the futuristic building with the big glass uh, stairways on each corner. And we'll be back here in a couple of minutes to show you how we get from the bottle, how we gonna, how we blow that bottle, that little tube, into something that actually looks like something you could drink out of. Okay. And it all starts right there. Grab it resin down. pellets, with Rick. The pe resin Ra pellets. Resin pellets. How about that, sports fan? A second. You know, if I had that, I'd buy myself a, a water bottling plant. I'd buy you a new hairnet. <laughs> 
Where are you again, Corey, for everybody that's just tuning in? Rick, you know, as long as you're talking numbers back there, yeah, a million bottles a day, a wow. million. That's what they're putting out here. It may be more than that. Uh, we're going to find out here in a moment. But those are that's the uh, building block of the 20 ounce bottle that we're looking at there. Uh, Jerry's still with us now. Jerry, we're going to go from this guy to the full blown bottle in just seconds. It's amazing how it works. First, you shove them in an oven, right? Right. You heat up the preform so it becomes pliable. Then after it goes around and heats the preform up, then you go into the blowing machine. Inside the blowing machine, there's a mold. This particular machine, there's 16 cavities, so you're making uh, bottles by blowing with high pressure, 600 psi, and it comes out as a finished bottle. It's just completely fascinating. I'm, I'm amazed at how quickly, once it's all heated up, it's blown out, as you say, by that air into an actual bottle. And we can see them coming out the line here as uh, we get on outside of the blower area. But they're going so darn, they're going so darn fast. I'm, I'm very impressed with the speed of the whole line. All right, it's a thousand bottles a minute line, and this is air conveyor that takes uh, the bottles to the production filler itself. Well, I don't know if there's a city in America that drinks more water than uh, all the cities uh, here that make up the Valley of the Sun. We're glad you're out here, that's for sure. Well, next time we get together, we're going to go from uh, blowing out the bottles here. We're going to fill these beauties up, slap some labels on them, and see how they get off to the store shelves. And uh, by the way, weather-wise today, it is going to be windy out there. That's the big story. Daytime highs a little bit above the average, but as far as the winds go, they're going to be way off the charts. 20, 30 mile an hour winds with gusts perhaps up to 45. So there's a wind advisory out for the whole state today. Tie down your two-year-olds. That's all I have to say. You know what? Them tumbling down the street with the uh, recycling containers. Well, what I like to do is put a couple of five-pound weights in their pockets. Hey, that's a good yeah. idea. Or, a lot or sometimes of... if you tie them together, right. they right. make a heavier lump. Right, and can, they're harder to lift. They yeah. kind of tether them. I like bundles of three. Yeah, bundles of three is good. Water this morning. Hey, Cor. Water everywhere, and you can drink every drop. We're at the La Nature's bottling plant. Just opened up in uh, Phoenix. We're going to show you what it takes to go from dripping it into the bottle to drinking it right down. All that in a moment. Showing, this is really kind this of interesting. Very cool. When you think about it, here's a big bottled water company mm -hmm. that moves to Phoenix. I know. It's one we're a the, desert. It, we're right off the 202. It's one of the biggest in the nation. This, your plant is about the size of, of Rhode Island, isn't it? No, no, not that big. <laughs> You've got to be close. No. Well, we're standing in front of the Vario Jet, the Cronus Vario Jet. This is one of my favorite parts of all because uh, this is where things are really starting to happen. Describe what people are seeing right now. What you're seeing is the bottle is turned upside down. It's rinsed with ozonated water. Then it comes out of the rinser, then goes into the filler. The filler is actually filling at 1,000 bottles a minute. 1,000 a minute? 1,000 a minute. Then it comes out of the filler and we inject nitrogen in it to give it a little bit of pressure inside the bottle. Uh -huh. Then it comes around and we put a cap on it. And then it goes down the line. Now, are you actually screwing that cap on yeah. there? Yes. My gosh. Now, how is doing it on with the machine? I guess we have Henry Ford to thank for being able to screw caps on at a thousand a minute, don't we? I don't know who to say. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you'd have a bunch of guys just sitting around all day oh, twisting yeah. their knuckles off. Well, we're going to find out how we go from filling to labeling to shipping here in just a couple of minutes. But uh, I got to tell you, weather-wise today, again, the big story is the continued warm weather will still be above the average today. But bigger than that would be the winds, a wind advisory out for the entire state today. So again, if you're driving a high profile vehicle you got to be careful uh, it could get toppled over we could see gusts at more than 45 miles an hour we'll see you back here again in a few minutes well okay all right that's really cool it really is how efficient i know so hmm. clean and efficient i know let's and go so buy their fast. water a thousand a minute thirsty. i think i'm gonna bathe in their water welcome to day 30 it's a wednesday hump day Ooh. and look at these uh, bottles coming off the line over there at the water plant yeah but what's cool is this is in slow motion yeah and it still looks fast. I'll tell you, they ain't seen nothing like this in the Latrobe. <laughs> I don't know. How fast do they uh, I don't know, but the company is headquartered Rolling in Latrobe. Beer. Rolling Rock Beer, they, what they do is they go down to the Susquehanna River and they just... <laughs> they dip a bottle in. Well, they do say that in the commercials, don't they? From the crystal clear water. Hey, guys. Mm -hmm. See that? Yep. Yeah. That's a label. 
Uh -huh. Ice water. Yeah. This is how we used to stick them on in the old days. We're not doing that anymore. Look at this. I mean, we're doing about a thousand of these a minute. I mean, it just spins around this carousel and uh, the labels just fly on there. Jerry, you got to tell us how in the world is this process accomplished? It's so fast, it's hard to even describe. This, this particular machine is running about 1,100 miles a minute. But each machine, as it gets away from the filler, is running about 20% faster. So if you do have a stop, it will catch back up and won't stop the filler. Okay, so we've got the bottle filled, we've got the cap on, now we've labeled it. Right. What's next? Then you take, it goes down the conveyor and towards the packaging end of the back of the line. At the back of the line, that's where you, you will put it into a tray. This particular package, we're packing it loose, 24 bottles in a tray, put a film over wrap, and then we palletize it. Then it goes to the warehouse. Now, I think a lot of people wonder, you know, where, where, the, where does your water come from? What's the raw material, and how do you, how do you make it worthy of uh, putting on the shelf? What, what we do here is take Phoenix water, and then we go through what we call an RO process, where we take everything out of the water, then we add back the minerals to the water that, so that we get the taste that we want. Mm -hmm. So a bottle here in Phoenix will taste the same as in, in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Okay, I guess that's pretty important yeah. for you people to follow your brand around. They know it's going to taste the same. I, I know if I eat a McDonald's hamburger in Pittsburgh, it's going to taste the same in Omaha. Right. That's what you're after, right? Exactly right. You want Except to... for the hamburger taste. You're not into that. No, we don't want to do that yet. Now, and you do all kinds of waters, right? This We're looking at the pure... Just regular Joe there, but you've got flavored waters we and so have forth. Flavored waters. Uh, we also have teas and we have juices. Oh, good. Well, we'll meet all that family uh, when we get back together here in a couple of minutes. But for now, we're going to say goodbye to the labeling line here, and we'll pack it all up and see the finished product here in a couple of minutes. Temperatures today, right on target. Maybe a bit warmer than the average, but by the time we get into the afternoon hours, uh, the winds are really going to be howling. I mean, really strong winds. So get your pool filter going right now so you don't have a big hassle tonight. And uh, tie down all your lawn furniture and your patio stuff, too. Lots more coming up from Le Nechels. That's French, Rick, you know. For a lot of people don't speak French. No. I know you are fluent. I, yeah, I can is. say cut the grass in French. Uh, now oh, that's boy. a phrase that I don't know. Uh, let me let me uh, let me tell Corey, you. Seriously. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Modelon. <laughs> oh, that makes perfect sense. Sure it does. <laughs> it's almost like they have a different word for everything over there. <laughs> 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 To put water in them, uh, what do you do? You drink it. That's kind of what I would assume. Yeah. Oh, you drink them is right. And uh, when you get a little sleepy, what do you do? You just lay your head down. But this ain't a pillow, my brother. This is a 20 pound tea bag. Wait till you see what this produces. All that coming up in a moment. Pretty impressive morning out at that uh, water bottling plant. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like super. It's, it's like cool. Latrobe in the desert. It is. It's just state of the art. I know. It just popped up. It sprang out like uh, one of those spring flowers right out of the desert floor. We're just off the 202. It's the La Nature's bottling plant. They're based out in Latrobe, PA, but uh, Clark Erickson is with us. Clark, you're in charge of finally getting these uh, products to the stores. We've seen a ton of the regular ice water that uh, we've been watching move through the line, but you're, you're a lot more than that, right? Go, take Correct. us down the road. We have a line of flavored ice waters, uh, six of those that are our, our purified water with a hint of, of different natural And I have flavors. to say, I'm a cheerleader for those. We uh, had some, and it's really light. doesn't have any kind of a heavy taste, but uh, it's delicious and no calories right. either. It's not sweetened, and we don't add preservatives. All these items here, the flavored items, move through a tunnel pasteurization process. They are pasteurized in the bottle, uh, so we don't have to add any preservatives to it. So you don't get the aftertaste uh, that a sweetener or a uh, preservative might add. Mm -hmm. Then we have a line of uh, naturally brewed teas, uh, brewed just exactly like you would at home. Uh, you've already shown them. Uh, yeah, you know, I had some of the, uh, the diet iced tea. It's beautiful. It's got the Splenda in it, and I'm a huge fan of that stuff too, a great sweetener. And you got the kids' dazzlers here as well. Now this you're just coming out with the uh, Aqua Aid, right? Aqua Aid's a fitness water beverage uh -huh. that uh, actually is just hitting the stores this week. Uh, we've only been making it for a few weeks now. All right. Why don't we crack open an Aqua Aid? What are we drinking here? We got the uh, oh, that's the it's peach got, mango. Yes, it's got seven vitamins and minerals in uh, in uh, suggested quantities. Oh my gosh, I'm a fan. I'm a peach mango believer. Remember, it's the La Nature's bottling facility. It's the Space Age building just off the 202. Now you know what's inside, don't you? 
Yeah, wow, I know. So amazing. I wanted to know what they were doing in there. I thought they were doing like uh, Mars rover stuff. Kind of looks that way.